Hey everybody, this is Mike with On Point Preparedness. This is going to be a really light and informal video. I just wanted to touch base with you all and talk about some things that are going on in my life with regards to spiritual attacks. I remember when I was saved about three and a half years ago, the person that led me to Christ said that now that you're in the body of Christ, Mike, expect the enemy to be launching spiritual attacks against you. Now, I was a baby Christian back then. Perhaps you watching this video at this point in time, you're a new Christian. Back then, I really hadn't understood or grasped the whole concept of spiritual warfare. But over the years, I can tell you it's definitely a real thing. And I wanted to give you an example of how that's currently manifesting in my life. So I'll share with you a couple, couple of things going on in that realm. The second thing is, and this is a very specific request for help, if any of my subscribers are lawyers and you deal with cases revolving around freedom of speech, I may need your services uh, sometime in the future. Now, there's no specific case against me right now, but this is just me being prepared, you know, air quote, on point preparedness. And I'll get to why that is in the next coming slides. So on June 25th, 2018, I put out this video. It's called Raw Inside Look, One World Religion Festival. This was the most impactful video I've ever done on my personal life. And as I mentioned in this video, I said, we're witnessing prophecy with our own eyes. You know, we see a lot of these things happening on the internet or on the TV, but we very rarely see it manifesting right in front of our eyes. And here this event was happening in my hometown in Cincinnati, and literally everyone there was talking about a one world religion. And I just couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, this is this is truly the end times manifesting locally uh, right in front of our eyes. And so I knew this video was going to be good. And some of my close friends said, oh, Mike, you know, now that you put out this video, this is, re this is really big. This is huge. You're going to have some attacks come out after you. And boy, were they right. So... I published this on June 25th again, and then check this out. I got my first community guideline violation, and this was on a video that was published over a year and a half ago, about a year and eight months. And so again, that's really strange for them to be going that deep in a YouTube channel's history. If some of you watch True News, I think they went maybe four years back in their videos to give them community guideline strikes. But when these things happen, it's usually a one, two, three punch. So you can only have three community guideline strikes and then they terminate your channel. And there is an appeal process, but it's sort of like a black hole. Now, some people I know on YouTube have gotten lawyers involved. So that's the request for any of my subscribers who are lawyers that deal with freedom of speech. I just thought before this would happen, if this would happen, before my voice would be taken away, I might have some preparations with some subscribers to try to make an appeal or in a case if this were to ever happen. But very strange. I think it was it was within 24 hours of this video that this strike came on a video that was a year and eight months old. Now, here's the interesting thing uh, for those of you that are aware of the whole YouTube purge. And especially if you're a YouTuber yourself, uh, this will be a really interesting thing for you that I found out. So the video that they flagged was where I referenced this school. <laughs> I referenced this school that starts with an S as a first word and has an H as the second word. And it was highly conspiratorial, I'm not saying the actual word of the school, because what happened was I referenced it in passing in that video. And then they flagged me for it simply because I was talking about it. Now, why am I not saying the s hook uh, word well here's something that you'll find interesting so if you go to any video on youtube and you click the little ellipse here and you open up a transcript virtually every single thing that you say in a youtube video is captured as text so they transcribe all the audio into text and what this turns it into is metadata and so it doesn't matter how you title your video. It doesn't matter what type of uh, keywords or SEO that you put in behind the scenes on this. You know, people try to get, you know, really um, creative and put special characters trying to avoid the YouTube search engines. Well, I just want to let you know that whatever you say 
gets turned into metadata, and this is what they scan. And so it's likely this YouTube strike that I got, again, referencing this school that ends in hook. <laughs> again, I don't want to flag on this video as well. It's captured in the transcripts. So really, it's very difficult to, to get away from this and, and get flagged uh, for some of these things. So yeah, I don't know if there's going to be another two strikes coming up soon. But the fact that this happened immediately after my One World Religion Festival video and that they pulled it from a video that was a year and a half or older is pretty crazy. And then get this. So Lee from Philia Ministries, uh, about six months ago, this was in December. So she sent me this, and this was about two to three days, I think, after my One World Religion Festival. She got a copyright claim notice on this video, Testimony Tuesday with Mike from On Point Preparedness. And so it says that a copyright owner using Content ID claims some material in your video. And what's really strange about that is if you go to the video with me and Lee and James, and you can see I'm just scanning here over on the right-hand side, it's just purely a live video with no screenshots, no additions of video. It's just us talking. And so there is literally nothing that can be copyrighted here. Absolutely nothing. It was just us talking together. And so you talk about spiritual warfare. And again, for anyone that's a new Christian and really hasn't fully grasped the concept yet or really isn't sure whether it's real, I just find this to be more than coincidence that I do a video like this where a lot of people are saying, you went into the lion's den, you stirred up the hornet's nest, be prepared for some spiritual warfare, in under 24 hours, I get the first community guideline strike of my entire YouTube career, which is over four and a half years on a video that's nearly two years old. And then Lee gets this copyright notice on a Testimony Tuesday that I did with her six months ago. And who knows, you know, what would be coming in the future. And so I don't want to get this one, two, three punch, lose my voice and be knocked out of the game and not have a chance to get back. So if you are a lawyer and you deal with freedom of speech, um, I'm going to put my email in the YouTube description box. It's michael at onpointpreparedness.net. It's pretty simple. And uh, maybe we can just get to know each other and make some arrangements just in case this were to happen to my channel in the future. Ultimately, we know that all of our channels are going to get shut down at some point in time, especially if they start targeting channels that are talking about the Pope um, in a negative light, uh, you can kiss my channel goodbye. But uh, yeah, just trying to be prepared about this. But I'll tell you what, um, you know, the spiritual attacks have been heavy. I'm also had like a lot of physical ailments. A lot of you know that I'm dealing with some chronic issue. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It hasn't been diagnosed, probably something autoimmune. But after this video, I've been suffering chronic migraines as well. So this this week in particular, I had to go to urgent care and get some uh, shots because the migraines have gotten so bad, but that's why I haven't been doing a whole bunch of videos. So a lot of spiritual attacks in the form of physical ailments, again, attacks on the YouTube channel. And this isn't about a woe is me video. It's just really, I really wanted to demonstrate how spiritual attacks come. And so your prayers are definitely appreciated. Lots of people have been praying for me, um, not to necessarily just lift everything off immediately, but for me to have perseverance and endurance through this test and this trial. And I think I'm nearing the end of it. I'm starting to get my health back a little bit. And uh, hopefully, you know, me and some other subscribers can prepare for anything that happens to my channel in the future. But there's just been a ton of outpouring of support from all the subscribers in the form of prayer and support and just edifying words. And just God bless you all. Thank you so much for letting me know how my videos have impacted you. Um, there was one lady today that messaged me on Facebook regarding my last video and how the verses I used were verses that she was specifically studying that day and it just resonated with her completely. Those things are just awesome to hear. And it's just really good to know that I'm on the right path and I'm helping people and just doing what I'm supposed to be doing, my own mission, my own ministry for the Lord, and advancing the kingdom. So I, I appreciate all of you all, again, for your support, which comes in many different ways. And 
hopefully we'll get on the bandwagon here again as soon as these migraines clear up and start doing a couple more videos. I've actually had to cancel a couple of live streams. Well, they're not live anymore because I lost my ability. <laughs> but um, I had some Skype sessions with a couple folks uh, for some really powerful testimonies. And unfortunately, just had to delay those a little bit. So hopefully with these migraines passing, I'll be able to start recording those. And coming into the weekend, you guys will see a whole bunch more content from my channel. So again, God bless you all. Thank you. Stay vigilant if you're under your own spiritual attacks. Um, just know that many brothers and sisters in Christ are undergoing the same types of attacks that you are. And we're all in this together. This is Mike with On Point Preparedness. God bless everybody.